Welcome, folks. I want to give an introduction to subgroups. Okay. So a subgroup H of a group G. So G is already some group that we have. And I'm going to tell you what a subgroup is. Um, it is a subset so that the binary operation on group G when restricted to H also gives a, sub, a group structure on H. Out of words, but a subgroup H of a group G is a subset so that the binary operation on G when it's restricted to H also gives a group structure on H. So let me give some examples. Okay. G will be the integers and maybe I'll specify under addition. Okay. And H is, you know, the even integers. So the point is whenever you take two even integers and you add them, you still get another even integer, right? And so this, this group operation on all integers, when you only allow the inputs to be even, you still get a group structure on the even integers. Um, all right, so let's try let's try something that breaks this. So let's do a non-example. Uh, zero is an even number, right? That's right. Yeah, and that'll that'll be important in this non-example. So let's let G be the integers under addition again. So let's say, um, let me call it K. K is the odd integers. Why is K not a subgroup? For several different reasons why K is not a subgroup. One is that it, it has no identity. Yep. that's. Totally right. So one answer is that there's no identity. Okay. There's no odd number such that when you add it to any other you know, odd number, you get that original odd number back, right? When you add by an odd number, you always change something. What 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 are other reasons the odd numbers are not subgroup? Yeah, completely. When you add two odd numbers, you don't get another odd number. You get an even number. So um, the sum of two odd numbers is not odd. It's even. So when I look at you know three plus five, I don't get another element of k back. I get back eight, which is even. It's, it's not odd. So th this is the main problem, right? The, the binary operation on G, the integers, when restricted to k, it doesn't even give a binary operation. You can't combine two odd integers by adding them and get another odd integer, you get an even integer back. Okay, let me do another example. 
So our large group will be Z mod 4Z under addition mod 4. So the elements here are 0, 1, 2, and 3. And uh, let me write down the subgroup. H will just be the elements 0 and 2. Okay. So I can draw this for you. I'll draw the multiplication table. So how do I combine 0, 1, 2, and 3 when I add mod 4? These things add up to 0. These things add up to 1. These things add up to 2. These combinations add up to 3. The following combinations add up to 4, which is 0 mod 4. The following combinations add up to 5, which is 1 mod 4. And then eventually we get back to the following combinations add up to 6, which is 2 mod 4. OK, so let's highlight this subgroup. The elements of the subgroup are just 0 and 2. Okay. And you'll notice when I combine 0 with 0, I get 0. When I combine 0 with 2, I get 2. And when I combine 2 with 2, I get 0. So 1s and 3s don't appear at all when I only combine 0 and 2 with each other. Right? So, so on the left, you know, this is really a picture of the group G. But sitting inside it is a picture of the smaller group H. Right? If I wanted to draw just H, I would just draw this. Let me make this um, a little organized. Zero combined with zero is zero. Zero combined with two is two. And two combined with itself is zero. Right? So you should really think of this smaller group, H, it's sort of living inside this larger group, G. And um, Subobjects are very important in mathematics. Whenever you have a mathematical object of interest, maybe it's a group, maybe it's a ring, maybe it's a field, as we'll see later in this class. Maybe it's a metric space, a space equipped with distances. Maybe it's a topological space. Maybe it's a manifold. Uh, maybe it's a category. You always consider the subobjects. You know, so a good way to study groups is by looking at their various subgroups. Um, okay. Any public questions? Thanks so much.